Hi, today we're going to be building a Mutable Instruments Edges. So last year I started building DIY Eurorack modules and I found that this was an enjoyable way of expanding my synthesizers and learning more about electronics and uh, getting more experience with soldering. I thought it might be interesting to try making a video, perhaps a series of videos, sharing a high level overview of the build process. Okay, we probably want some magnification. This one has lights. Of course, we'll need an iron, some solder, some cutters for clipping leads, copper wick, a few tips for your iron, tip cleaner, something to hold your PCB, extra flux, tweezers, the appropriate programmer for your microcontroller, and a few components. All right, so we have a blank PCB. Now, where do we start? Generally, the rule of thumb is to start with the ICs or the integrated circuits. And this is a mutable instruments digital build, so we have a microcontroller. And that guy is probably the hardest part of the whole build because the pin pitches are so tiny and they're so close together. Another reason why we want to do these first is because the ICs have these pads next to them for capacitors and resistors. Sometimes they're really close. And if we do those first, then try to place this microcontroller, those capacitors or resistors kind of get in the way.
So there's just one thing I want to address real quick. And that is, I see this everywhere. It's on the internet, it's on social media forums. And that is this notion that surface mount is too difficult, that it requires advanced experience or requires special tools, paste, stencils, uh, hot air reflow station. I think this is a total myth. Go to Amazon and buy one of their practice kits for like 10 bucks and watch an SMD soldering tutorial. I'll put a link down in the description. I think you'll be fine. You'll start out on day one. You'll make a few mistakes. That's totally fine. It's normal. It's part of the process of learning. Uh, just go ahead and give it a try. I think you'll find that it's, it's not an issue. Okay, so we're all done with the surface mount portion of the build. So now it's just the through hole parts, the switches, the jacks, and the power supply, the JTAG connectors. Um, yeah. Now that we're done with populating the PCB, it's time to plug it in, switch on the power, and attempt to upload the firmware to the microcontroller. Now, some people prefer to do this before mounting the switches, the pots, and jacks, and that might be a good idea, but I'm feeling like everything went fine, so I just went ahead and finished it. Mutable Instruments provides a ready-made Vagrant environment for compiling and uploading the firmware. This makes things really easy, but it's sometimes also the part of the process that will reveal if there are any problems with the build. Here I'm starting the virtual machine, running make against the edges make file, and then uploading it using my AVR USB programmer.
Okay, so I tested the module, everything seems fine, and it's always nice when everything just sort of works. So let me know what you think, and like and subscribe. I'll probably release a video showing the module and what it does, what it sounds like, in a couple of days. So thanks for watching.